Susan Hefley is an absolute embarrassment to her sons. During Roderick's most important band performance of his career, she decides to, instead of filming the particular event, actually start dancing. Not only that, but whenever she was filming, she made a bunch of comments about Roderick and his bandmates. I'm pretty sure when someone asks you to film something for them, you don't insert your commentary wherever you please. And as a result of her actions, not only did Roderick have nothing to show to any record companies, but he went viral on the internet for all of the wrong reasons, to the point where he's been hiding out in the basement. You have socially ostracized your son, you do realize that, right? And to this day, she has never apologized for what she did. Her only lame excuse was that if Roderick didn't want people to dance, he shouldn't play music, which is absolutely ridiculous and doesn't even confront the problem at all. But she hasn't really humiliated Roderick too many times. It's actually been her middle son, Greg Hefley. She shows up to deliver him his bag, which is perfectly normal. Except who in their right minds goes in their gym gear and says, you forgot this, sweetie. Right now, in public, walking it in, into his classroom. You couldn't have just said for Greg to go down to the main office and get his bag. No, you had to embarrass him right in front of his classmates. And how convenient is it for her, not even planning on going to the gym since New Year's Day, decides to do it today. I think she purposely embarrassed Greg. Susan has spent a lot of time interacting with kids in classrooms, so certainly she should know what is socially appropriate with regards to interactions between kids and adults, but she throws all of that out the window when she is Greg's substitute teacher. And not only brings him his lunch, but draws a heart on it. Again, in front of everyone. You know, I honestly think that's why nobody likes Greg, and why uh, it's very hard for him to find a date to the Valentine's Day dance, and that is even confirmed by the fact that she once again embarrasses him. And she gives him her winter coat to wear. She could have just given uh, Greg his own winter coat. But no, once again, he's going to be socially ostracized and publicly humiliated. The fact that she also invited herself over as Greg and Riley's guest for the Halloween party they were attending also indicates that she just wants to insert herself wherever she can into her son's lives. All just because she wants to implement some new idea or for her to be satisfied about something. It's always about her. She also allows her son to be patted down by, let's call them for what they are, strangers because they've literally only interacted with them twice. And throughout her entire interactions with Greg, he's never stolen anything. Or at the very least, not since he was a little kid. So why would she just let these people pat him down? Does she not trust her son? Oh, and I actually forgot to mention this with Roderick. She decides to take a family photo that she's presumably going to send to the rest of Greg's extended family while Roderick is severely sunbleached. Under no circumstance would I photograph any member of my family who has... Under no circumstance would I photograph any of my family, much less my kid, uh, who is clearly having a skin condition. Susan has a very bad history of embarrassing her son at sporting events, and as someone who has played both organized and individual sports for around 12 years, I can sure as hell say that the worst thing that can happen to you is some parent who is cheering at you or who is constantly making comments about you as you are performing. Whether it is at a tryout, and the parents can't shut the hell up, or holding up a poster of your child's face and a banner saying to put Greg in, despite fully knowing that he's absolutely terrible. She's also probably talking and chanting a lot for Greg in this instance. This is absolutely, incredibly embarrassing, combined with the fact that this is a sport that Greg never wanted to do. So yeah, Susan really doesn't help her kids out.